Heck yeah. Okay, guys, we're playing a single 20 minute match here to determine the third place win. So, I'm going to give you all some leeway on substitutions. Normally, you can't have a subbing player connect to the server until the person who is leaving has already left. We're going to give you a little leeway here. We're going to let, if you need to make a sub, preferably around the 10 minute mark, feel free to bring them in. But whoever is going to be subbing out, you need to tell me who that's going to be leaving before you have the new person coming in. So you can just say it on voice or type it in text or something like that. And that person will need to leave as soon as the incoming player joins your team. So you can be at 10 players briefly, and I mean briefly. Any questions on that point? Flash trying to make sure everything's as even as possible here in the last match. Don't want the medal determined by a drop player. Also wants to get as many people as possible an option to connect. Right, I believe both teams want to let every single person play if they can, if they're available today, because this is their last uh, game as a team together. Cup and Cake's currently down a man. Not sure. I, I believe they had. We're going to wait for James to come back here. Uh, ah. James Gold. The winner of this match is going to be whoever caps out the entire map the most times in 20 minutes. If cap outs are even, or no one is capped out, whoever controls this center point is going to be the winner. The interesting thing to know as we prepare here, this is the third and fourth place teams. They are the two highest scoring teams in the Ville Cup. 32x the add-ons in fourth place have 36 points for over the course of the Cup. Cup and Cakes in third place have 38 points for over the course of the Cup. This is one of those like situations I said. where we see it's... Uh, Alright, James is rebooting. Important. He'll be back momentarily. But uh, it's which objectives you get and when you get them that matter the most, not always just peer numbers. Yeah, both, both of these teams had rough patches during the season that uh, basically eliminated their chances from getting to the finals, but they're they're very good teams and capable of scoring a ton, so it'll be interesting to see if that, how that results on this 5 CP push. Do they do they end up fighting over the middle points the whole time and no one's able to push, or do, they, do we see a high-scoring match? Does one team prove a lot better than the other? We'll find out uh, based on who's able to play tonight. I, I really could say it could go anyway. Yeah, it could. Uh, Little Cup and Cakes have allowed 26 points to the 18 allowed by 32x. However, up against each other, uh, Cup and Cakes did win 2-0. Uh, and again, so it's where the points come. Of the uh, first and second place teams, uh, both Group of Drunks and Team Innards Meet Explosion have scored fewer over the course of the map. Though Group of Drunks, all the way up in first place, does have the lowest. All right, looks allowed. like we're back to full strength. Uh, Domer, any questions from your team? A factor in their victories. All right, Cody, any questions from your side? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and ready up, and we'll get this bronze match underway as soon as you're ready. Remember, it's a single 20-minute match. Most full cap outs, or whoever controls the middle, if cap outs or even is going to win this and take home the bronze. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch this initial breakout here in the center as the teams come in. We are underway for the bronze medal match of the 2010 Ville Cup Tournament Finals. Here, demos moving quickly at the front of the red team. There they come around the corner. Let's see, uh, oh. The, uh, mini sentry dropped there by Gearbox behind. Snuck right past the heavy and, uh, medic. I said, oh, a good stab by Tactical Bacon as well. Both teams losing people, neither of them getting on the point. 
both of them sparring for domination of this central arena. With those multiple levels and with the uh, such as the big area, so many entrances, it's a little risky to just jump on the point immediately. Though we do see the engineer getting some cap time there. Yeah. Thirty-two X. Sort of won the middle, I would say. Uh, not cleanly enough to cap yet, but I do have an Uber in the mid. And Kevin Hicks don't have an Uber available, so. Oh, 2X has another Uber actually available now. One of the two Kevin Cakes medics down, the other up at 30%. Oh, a nice shot by James Gold. Yeah. James is down there by Big Door. Under fire now from the uh, demo, which is uh, Domer. You see 32X reversing that cap and is now most of the way to getting a cap of their own. Let's see if this Suzuki is a heavy. Has to say about it. She has put a stop to it. Yeah, blue backs out here. Everybody being real spy cautious. moving in. Dead run spy gets taken out once. He's still alive, running around down below. And now, cupping cakes reversing the cap. Yeah, I like that working cupping cakes. They spy got being out. healed there. Gets spy checked. Falls. Oh, they've identified him. Medic gets him down. Yeah. Yeah. Cupping cakes have taken it and have quickly moved forward. And, and that, that gave long. Armin. 50 uh, uber charge there. He jumped up fast by getting those two stabs. Look at his A little bit of a quick cap effort being made. It uh, didn't quite work out for them, but it definitely makes 32 reset back a little bit. They have the advantage in center, and suddenly they realize they have to uh, move back and defend their back point. Yeah, and you see 32X uh, trying to just kind of hold up there at the uh, choke, which is the uh, upper area of the spawn, whereas the lower area was typically called Big Door or Garage. See Kobe Bryant holding Big Door. And Looks like they're trying to, out. yeah, they're trying to push out through there, I think, get a little bit of a flank. Yeah, Domer takes down Coyote. And then he goes down afterwards. Al Capoon goes down, meaning Cutting nice the Cakes. Stab there by Bacon. 32X has an opportunity to get out and take the middle back if they want to. We see their Pyro, Jirai Knight on the center. Uh, the control oh, both point teams capping the opposing points. Oh, they go off of center. 32X is off yeah. of center. 32X can cap middle first if they want to. They Bacon have the numbers. The mid. Yeah, there we go. Bacon is pulled off back. Right, the sniper gets up there. You see, they're always fighting two directions here. It makes a, a, always a difficult choice. They can't just focus on one area. I see Grizzoni there with the bottle going after the medic. Can't quite get him. Oh, he gets him with the stickies afterwards, despite being healed. 32X making an effort to get that center point control. Time they got it. So real back and forth, these teams are very evenly matched. Oh, nice shot by Kobe Bryant. Take out the engine just as the gun goes up, however. Two mini sentries versus each other. Gearboxes wins out for 32x. Armin has his uber charge now. He needs backup though. They're not going to push it, I don't think. Alone. Okay, they do. Just pop it. Zuki has a combo with Armin. Coming I guarantee you that's been combo though. You can see their uh, second group is fighting in Big Door and right, being held back by nice the Uber. And both have gone down. I don't believe they got any kills from that. No, and they're down to two up. 32X needs to push and get on the point right now. You see they're the control point is being sticking the lower door. Trying to slow down and out. You see that, that door. combination of upper and lower capture. Yeah, this, this door tends to be a big uh, danger zone. Heavily sticky usually since it's hard to get up to the tosses. Oh, nice little Blackhawk sap combined with Pyro. They work together, they get rid of that little gun that was all that was holding the door. You see a heavy sticky trap and a number of cup and cakes on Pyro, but cup and cakes having trouble keeping all of their people alive. Yeah. They are severely down on members. Yeah, 32X is going to push here. They've got an Uber charge, got a heavy in. The control point uh, is being captured. This will be a good opportunity for a cap the here. Oh, there's the air Pyro blast. Comes up from water. That should do it for them with that air blast. But get rid of oh, that. No. Oh, good work by James Gold as a sniper. <laughs> that sniper is what kept that alive long enough for the rest of the team to get on there. Outstanding. Yeah. A hair there, just a hair left. Oh, video barely survives with just one or two health points. He wins it. 
a heavy duel, and jumps on the point for the first cap. So 32x strikes first. Got 14 minutes. Time for the second cap attempt. Very tight match there. And with 13 and a half to go, or 13.50 to go, enough time for anybody to get one or two. But a big advantage there for 32x in this match with only one to play. First blood is so important when you're playing a short round. Right. Well, and, and if it grinds out, you know, you know you can't have one. Exactly. They're no longer susceptible to not having center control when they're out it. Correct. Now, Coven Cakes lose a lot in the beginning here. 32x should be able to take this middle. Stay alive at least, so they won't be down on Ubers once the rest of the team gets there, so long as those medics continue to stay up. Armin apparently not able to have, uh, find a healing patient. Yet, but, you know, 32 takes the mid. And you see 32x moving into second point already, flanking around through the uh, garage area. But they're by themselves, they need to get out. Oh, medic Chewie goes down. And then nice stab by Bacon. His whereabouts are known, but uh, he is invisible. He can escape. Alert! The control point is being captured. You see Bob the Ninja Man goes out there, drops the mini, and then runs interference and draws everybody away and gives room for his team to get to the middle. I really like that. That's a nice move. I'd like to see more of his teammates get on the point there, take advantage of what he did. See, just the yeah. one heavy Zuki making oh. the capture. There's the two. 30, 32x is down to two up. They're gonna, they just spawned. They're gonna need to protect the uh, two. They have a full Uber ready. Armin with a load of Uber. There it is. Pops. Good timing, too. The, the uh, demo's there waiting for somebody to backstab. Oh, a nice Finally find somebody. He is dead wrong, still up with the second half of his life. But it's a great headshot by Kobe Bryant there. Opens the door and takes domes the medic. That's what you I want. Oh, there's that. Uh, may not stop the uh, camp there. Blackhawk doing some intimidation as the uh, spy there. There's a very nice effort by the spy, but not enough other people up to uh, ensure that it worked. So 32 now has the fourth point. And a couple of cases, a couple forward cases. spawns. They should be able to build here. Uh, slight for the Coyote, although Coyote, I believe, is running Crit's Creek. They can push a Crit's Creek before uh, any Ubers up for 32x if they work quickly. Oh, nice shot by Tactical Bacon there with the uh, Ambassador Snipe of Dover off of the point. Took his time, yes. calmly aimed. And, and we see 32x is in the lobby here. Or a uh, couple kicks are in the lobby. A combo, a heavy combo. There are a number of players from 32x going on to point number two for that. Let's see if Zuki is able to, Zuki is able to take them off along with uh, oh, the rest of the team shows up and down goes 32's attackers. This upper route, very important. Oh, we see uh, something. Oh, sorry, sorry, true him. Coming in with the Uber ready, moving into the point two arena. They come down behind Cup and Cakes, shoot him in the back a little bit. And there's the counter Uber from the Cup and Cakes. Turns fire and pushes forward with water. Yeah. Oh, but they get split up. They both get taken down, one separated. Down in the lobby there. We see Coyote there. Coyote has his Crits Creek, but Coyote doesn't have a good target. Yeah, it is burned off. And then Spy near him. Spy gets a sap off the small gun that was helping him out there. Spy goes down, then goes down. Oh, we see the demo up there, Domer, using that little corner of the upper level. He gets there to point number two back. That very important yeah. for spawn positions and just the time for the community. And, and Coyote dies with his full Crits Creek because he had no target. See Zuki get some mowing down done with Arm and Healer. You can hear the rate of fire those uh, sniper rifles just cracking away. Yeah, this will be a preview of what we see in the, uh, the, the late match as well. There's a lot of good sight lines here for snipers. We'll definitely see that in the next round as well. 
I say Sherlock demo knighting with a triple H. Okay, do you have a level three up there now on that other ridge or 32x? Spies on it though, that will good. probably take that side. now. Yeah. Good prioritization, you saw the, the quick route. The oh, and on the center is 32x. Blackhawk, as the spy gets behind, he finds a medic coming against him. There's Suzuki as well as the heavy. Coyote able to do the needle gun takedown. The spy uh, did escape though. Not a full kill. He went back to their second point. We will see him again shortly. There's a cap of that second point. Fourth point for Cup Kicks. I think Cub and Cakes is going to try to jump up and go through the river here. Let's see a nice little hop by Zuki. Coyote's at 85%. Place. He fell down. Oh, that's Armin. No, Coyote did fall. So they're going to have to go into lower. Zuki, moving back over. There, she's got her medic now. Armin with her has no go. Now, there is an Uber uh, on 32X that they will use to defend. Oh, the engineer up in that upper lobby. Four cup and cakes sets down a mini sentry to guard the upper lobby against flank attacks by 32. This is a dangerous spot now for 32. They need to yes. take control Six up of their on each upper team. level. Oh, Uber and here comes, comes an in. Uber into the final right outside this spawn. There's a pyro on them if she sees them. They they need the other right. There's a counter. Mini sentries dropped in. See if They're going to wait it out here, work around for the end, and then push in. There's an engineer with a gun in the uh, in water under the center. It's been spotted, but there's now a heavy on the point. And that was going to almost even Not it up. Quite, but it's so close, you're seeing old there moves by... There we are. Okay, Cup and Cakes have tied it up. With this seven muscle minutes way into the and point. seven seconds. That was just everybody on there. We're seeing a great effort on both teams from every class jumping on the point, trying not only to cap, but also to defend even the non-combat classes leaping on there. It's what you really want to see, because that's how you win rounds. Yeah, and with seven minutes to go, plenty of time. We'll see maybe this one with a cap, or maybe we'll see it uh, go to the th go to the tie break. If the amount of time it took for those last two caps is just far less than the amount of time that is remaining in the game, so as you say, we could end up seeing a central control come into play here. Where one of the teams may try and leap out to the lead and push through. If the team is able to do a quick cap, we see 32x all over that center point at the moment with a gun built on it and three players. Uh, it is a viable tactic for them to attempt to turtle uh, after getting a second win. But obviously, that's getting a bit ahead of ourselves here. There's yeah, I fighting. wouldn't expect to see a turtle on the middle. I see. We see about a minute or two left. Whoever holds the middle uh, is probably going to try to hold their and try to win that way. It would not surprise me at all, given how much you can throw your, you know, you know no team's going to want to wait for trying to cap the final and then get uh, cap through. Get counter rolled, yeah. Right. Something you see happen on maps like Badlands, and even on Warpath a fair amount, where mm. I, I, I'll, you I'll tell you, I, three I've, seen it, I've seen it on Billy Watch in plenty of matches uh, at the competitive level, and also uh, in the pub levels. Good defense Zuki by 32. Knocked in here there. Yeah, saving that that center even against the combo. That looked like that was gonna go to that was gonna go for Zuki, but it didn't. Bumped Hard to be heavy in the air. Yes. <laughs> Especially when you're being circled by spy and several explosive classes. The three chunks with the Uber advantage and the man advantage at the moment. Holding the middle as well. Cupcakes again with the NG led uh, offense there. Uh, 
not able to follow up as well as last time. Uber comes out for 32x. Oh, no, but uh, A32X not having anything of it. Not sure what happened there. I, I, I saw the, the heavy go in lower and then the medic came out by himself. Nice a little sniper exchange there. 32X able to stay in control of the middle. Crits with the demo there. Domer and Seventhorn making good use of the Crits Krieg. Laying some very heavy damage. Yeah, uh, that little, uh, little S, uh, quarter commonly called choke for a reason. Yes. Oh, nice. Don't Flying stab. Do not want to stand in there. It is, too, it is very easy to spam. You need to move through it and get out or stay out of it. Our control point is being captured. On the three minute mark here. Three 32 minutes, two seconds. seconds. Cup and Cake should not try to contest this. They need to regroup and uh, see if they can make a push out later. They need to make a push out and get a hold of the center, if not all the way through. Right. 32X does not have Uber charges yet, so they're going to have an opportunity if they want. They're they not sure they want to risk that yet. Uber advantage here. They might not know right. that. Depends how well they've been keeping track of their medic picks. C32X all up in the upper lobby. There's the Krets uh, being deployed. They do take down Coyote, one of the medics from the Cup and Cakes, with another deadly Krets in that narrow river hallway. Yeah, Cup and Cakes are five up. The uh, 32X needs to push here before they get a good chance to spawn and get settled if they want to cap this, because capping it pretty much ends the game with two minutes to go. There is 32X with another cap. So at 2-1, two, 2 minutes, I'm not sure it's possible to camp through and even it up. We'll see them, sure, give it a try. 32X obviously going to be digging in its heels, uh, making sure they don't get run over. And so long as they pull that off, they're going to be going home with a shiny bronze medal in about a minute and a half. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I think we'll see Cup and Cakes go and push as hard as they can and try to win this middle. And there they, they are, Cup and Cakes already all over the center, running out. They're headed straight for the second point with one of their combos. I think they wanted to clear, they wanted to make sure they cleared the choke first. We have seen some see ridiculously fast caps when they were needed. So we're going to see if that's what happens here. A minute and 12 seconds, and Cup and Cakes have got the middle point. They're, they are only it's six on six at the moment. Yes, they've lost a number of their players. Clearly, they did yeah. not fully control that second cap area. Hawkman takes down the engineer, but does not take down the gear. No, that pushback will. The control point is being captured. Hate to say it, but I think that's going to guarantee the win here for 32x by not holding when they took that middle, pushing back and, and getting back on it here. Look to see them fight as hard as they can all the way to the end, but yeah, the 32x. If 32X takes the center here, that will seal the deal for them, just based on the cap times. Yeah, 30 seconds more time than it'll take for even a full team to push through all the way to there last. There it is. 32X has taken the center. So we're going to see the uh, last 20 seconds of brutal slaughter going on, and uh, 32X is going to move up, and they're about to win the cup. Let's know. Alert. The control point is being captured. Three, two, and one. Time is up. 32 Great X. match, everybody. Congratulations Thank to you them. all very much for Has participating in this year's Bill Cup. The Bill Cup and we Cakes hope to see you all in some of our fight. other events later this year and then back for next year's Cup. So that was some beautiful rounds there. Very intense back and forth between the teams. Very well played by both of them. We'll see if we can steal Domer here if he's not uh, too busy partying with that yep. nice little victory. I believe he is going to be on the way. Outstanding. Wow. So that was a, a, a certainly an exciting series there. That was. That was some, some just very intense competition between those two teams, both very well organized, both doing a good job being where they needed to be. A 32X able to pull off the win.
And we do have Domer in the booth. Domer. Welcome, Domer. Welcome to the booth, and congratulations on your bronze medal victory. Thank you. So, what was your plan going into Gully Wash? Fairly intense, uh, highly competitive 5CP map. You know, I'm going to have to defer this question to McLovin. He did most of the planning. <laughs> hey, McLovin. Also, welcome to the booth. McLovin, one of the lieutenants over on 32X. Tell us about your plan, sir. So, basically, we just were going to run two demos and put one at the flank and one in the, well, one in the garage, one at the choke, and see what happened. Just push out on the point slowly and take control. Once we took control, just try to keep pushing. At the very beginning of the first point uh, of that match, you guys lost the center at first and were pushed back being threatened on your on your two. You're then able to push back out. It went back and forth a number of times. Uh, what did you do in order to kind of regroup and ensure that you were still in the game? I think one thing we've kind of focused on really all season long is always pushing with numbers and when we didn't have numbers, we would retreat and regroup and wait until we had the advantage again before we pushed back. So that's sort of what the idea was that in that in those instances. Now, the Kritzkrieg, a brutal, brutal and very effective weapon we saw in a number of different close quarters locations. Uh, <laughs> just something you were dealing with, you are keeping your medics alive, that was a wonderful job. You were able to, as you said, move in mass. Uh, Obviously, the other team also was moving in mass at various points. Uh, did you have uh, any agreed upon tactics for trying to do certain picks or certain routes, or was that something you did kind of organically as the match evolved? I'd say it was fairly organic. The Kritzkrieg on Golly Wash can work because there's a couple of really tight choke points. As you saw, there was one crit where I didn't even know they were there, and Seven gave me a crit, and like their entire team was sitting in the choke point, and they all died. <laughs> Works pretty well. <laughs> it was a pretty big explosion, that's for sure. How am I supposed to play with Chris Carter being inducted into the Hall of Fame? Uh, Ow! What sort of... Uh, sorry, <laughs> hearing the background noise there. Plinko, what have you got? Uh, I don't have much. I, I just have to say congratulations. You guys did a great job. Uh, it was a lot of fun to watch and, and see you guys kind of... Uh, I like the call out on you guys calling to push with numbers and, and, and retreat without and gather up. It worked really well. There were a lot of times where Cup and Kicks looked like they were going to push and, and you guys regrouped really well. So congratulations uh, on, on a well-fought match and a, and a excellent Bill Cup for you guys. Thanks. Yeah, well earned both of you. Thank you for joining us. So, what we have coming up next, we have got the gold medal matchup between the Group of Drunks and Team Innards Meat Explosion. Group of Drunks is the uh, first place seeded team. They have an 8 and 2 record, 35 total points for, 14 points against. Team Innards Meat Explosion, time, is the second seeded team, also an 8 and 2 record, 32 total points for, 29 points against. It is all the way down to that fourth tiebreaker, total points four, where they're only separated by three. That's the only difference in their official seeding. These teams, if possible, even more even than the match we just saw.